And uh, I think we got ourselves some hand warmers. No, they're starting right away. Right away, man. They have no time. They have All right. no time. So from Prince earlier, we saw uh, against Timmy, he played quite passively and was able to, you know, clutch it out in the situations that it mattered in, which is really emblematic of Jigglypuff play in general because her punish game is so strong with the rest, uh, being able to take a stock out of like uh, one or two hits. Well, she has to fight a lot for uh, for a good punish on Jigglypuff. And also, Jigglypuff can, you know, attempt to do rests more freely against uh, Sheik as, a, as compared to other characters because she has not the best way to punish the rest. That is really hit. true. That is really, really true, actually. But one thing also, like, she got all those needles, which helps her a lot in yeah. that matchup to create opening because she, uh, needle from above and then falling down fair or grab or anything is really strong in that matchup. So she uh, definitely got tools. Also got a good down smash on the shield of, uh, of Puff. Yeah. It's often uh, shield stab the puff, so it's really good. And as we said earlier, like with all the shield, uh, the the edge play of all the Triforce, over on the edge against Puff is a monster. Yeah, he puff is. He's a monster. He really knows how to move around that insane aerial mobility of Jigglypuff. Oh, he just stopped crouching as over was ready to uh, as over was ready to grab him. Uh, over really playing with Prince's uh, attempts to get the crouch rest there. Yeah. Like that, for instance. I, I think he so tried good. to go for a rest out of shield, but uh, messed up his jump, you know, and uh, then didn't drift, but roll instead. Maybe. I don't know if you can do that, actually, after a down smash shield. I have no idea. I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too sure either. Ooh, but, but I don't think you can, actually, because I know it is a really great tool from, uh, for Sheik in that okay. matchup. The Ooh. down smash on shield? Yeah. Oh, oh, no. oh. <laughs> As you said, over on the ledge against Jigglypuff, amazing. Oh, okay. Prince going for a little bit of a cheeky rollout to regain the, the ledge position right there. I think Overdrivers could have just, you know, edge shocked him, but uh, he wasn't ready for that. Yeah. Prince messing with him, kind of trying to get in his head, maybe. I don't know, man. Like, I feel like after the first set in, uh, in Winners, which was really hard once again for Prince, I think he's trying. He's just trying new things. Yeah. Oh, that, that's going to be the stock. Gets the edge guard on over Triforce, keeps it close. And now, you know, the possibility of rest is given at all times. So um, I think this is looking like, I think Prince is sitting quite comfortably there on the two stocks. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. oh! oh! Tipper <laughs> up smash out of power shield by over Triforce oh my against God. the pound. Oh, honestly, I feel that it's not the first time I've seen Over Triforce did that. Like I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure I've already seen doing that, like since years. Okay. That is crazy. He's so good at it. So okay. Oh. Prince yeah, put he... Prince put like four backers in the same spot, <laughs> and Over was like, yeah, but that's not a spot I'm picking. Yeah, that that's the thing. Like, it's so good at the rhythm to know where it's gonna attack, when Puff gonna be in a spot where it will be able to counter-attack and stuff like that. Like, I don't know, but over it's just so good. Man, look at that! He just sneak in there so easily. So oh, oh, easily! Oh, oh, oh. Like, it, it's like... Th the Puff there is over Triforce! The Puff is over Triforce, dude. Man. So, um, over Triforce, even though uh, Prince took the first stock and also had a really, really solid edge card on, on over Triforce, over Triforce was dominating that game. So, are we seeing the, the situation again that we saw with Nikki and Dart? Is, is this the over Triforce show? Ah, that's possible, man. That's possible. But I wouldn't, you know, like, Prince, I think, is a different kind of player than Nikki. I think he. Oh, there we go! First rest of the set that hits. Yeah, um, right at the beginning, man. You know, Prince is the type of player that tries to mess with his opponent no matter what kind of player he is. Why well, I think um, it's, it's not... Oh, oh my god! Well, he's not a disrespectful player. I think he tries to get in inside the head of the opponent. So, you know, he's respecting the opponent, but then again, he makes it feel like he doesn't. Yeah, I can imagine that. With over already ready, man. He was already around the puff. Yeah. How do you know how over his tech went back in the day? I think it was most likely in tech favor. Oh, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, dude!
Prince is getting all of those rests right here and... Another one. <laughs> and, uh, DJ Khaled, another one. <laughs> but uh, even... Oh, oh, wow! That was another one with a smile of, uh, of Prince. But I'm pretty sure even if it doesn't take favor, like over Triforce definitely took some sets out of tech. Like okay. for sure, for sure. But so, I, yeah. as you said earlier, like Prince can go for rest because Sheik does not have that many ways to punish rest out of uh, out of uh, of buff. Exactly, especially on this stage, you know? Oh yeah. So he can try, he can try. Oh, oh over against the overtech, but Prince was ready. Yeah. And that's gonna be the stock. No. Ooh no, Prince netted him. Just to edge guard him, just to edge guard him, just just to show, dude. In case you ever want to be off stage, this is my answer. Yes. So yeah, you were saying that over Triforce is um, really really solid on the ledge versus Jigglypuff, right? Yeah. Prince is showing him otherwise, so maybe this messes with over Triforce's confidence. Mm. I'm not. I'm not even sure that that that, that will mess with the confidence of over. Oh, honestly. Yo. Oh my god. <laughs> because you know, like, when you play a buff on Dreamland and you lose that, the, that game against buff on Dreamland, yeah. I mean, this is Dream, this is buff on Dreamland. Yeah, true. So it true. was likely, like, buff gonna win that game quite 100% of the time. Of course not. But more. Oh! <laughs> but that, that might go into the head of all that the That might go into his head. But he doesn't look like it. He is smiling. Yeah. He's smirking. He's like, yeah, that was, you know, as you said, Puff on Dreamland. I think very few times I have heard truer words to be spoken than, you know, it's Puff on Dreamland. It doesn't gonna mess with your confidence, you know, because everybody knows this stage is insane for the character. That's the thing. But now we're back on uh, over Triforce Counter Pick, and this time, his favorite stage. His favorite oh stage. no, Prince! Oh, but he made it back, making use of all of the jumps, including uh, I think one pound and the air dodge. Jigglypuff's recovery is insane. It is. It is. It looked like he messed up, but you know, all he lost was you know the positioning, and he regained it. In the blink of an eye, man. In the blink of an eye. Oh, the light back here to put a fair out of it. So hard to combo a buff. But when you make those tiny moves, those the perfect spacing, you can't find the strong move. Yep. Ooh, the forward air coming out a little bit faster than Jigglypuff's back aerial. So Overdrive for his nose. If he's way too close, like if, if, uh, if Prince comes too close to him, oh, he can just are. throw out a fair. Ooh, and yeah, how is he going to retaliate? A down smash that's 17%, uh, not too bad, 17%, you know, yeah. messes with the crouch cancel game. Oh, 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 I'm oh. over, getting back that stage. Over is throwing out everything he has just in order, you know, for Prince not to, uh, not to be able to rest him or something like they mess with him on the ground level which is where he gets most of his rest because Sheik is uh, has way too quick of a, of a jump and a rejump. But that's the thing I feel like over is just abusing of the speed of uh, of Sheik you know yeah. like he's, ma he's making puff with something and right after it's just it's just right on her yeah. right on her Ooh, over uh, I think messing up his recovery angle there. I think he was he went for uh, for the slide angle onto the stage and uh, yeah, Prince utilizing that nice over messed up there. So maybe the rest in the last rest in the game, the roll read really messed with over because you know he messed up something that he usually never does. Oh. Speaking of messing up something, that was one of the tri th that is a tricky rest to do because when Sheik land after her up B. She just crouch on the whole of her body. Yeah. It is tough to reach, actually. Really tough to reach. Also, one thing that uh, Prince told me this weekend, one thing that I never considered, even though it is so obvious, you know, when Puff lands from her jump mm -hmm. without having an aerial, you know, just yeah. landing, she crouches. Yeah. This is amazing. It is amazing. It is actually amazing. Ooh! Mm -hmm. Crouch canceled rest right there from uh, on the dash attack of Overdrivers. Overdrivers was not ready for that and didn't DI properly, so he got no punish out of it. Yeah. It could have been another rest read, but Prince was just not confident enough and also over not enough percentage to die from it. Yeah, and as a, as the rest has been scaled, like definitely not enough. Like, yeah. Like for, for sure, for sure. Prince going for three up tilts in a row. Not a good look. Over recognized and punished him immediately for it. All the positioning of uh, of uh, over man. 
After one movie goes for it once again, my god, on the edge game of all the Triforce. Look at the edge game of that man. Yeah, dude, this guy, he really, like, uh -oh. he, he makes so... Oh! Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Word. Shout out to Dr. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that combo against Fuzziness? I think it was Beast, right? Uh, no, it was uh, DG. Okay, my bad, my okay. bad. It was Dr. Oh, Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So shout out to him, over Triforce, also somebody who can utilize one of the worst moves in the game to its true and full potential. The freaking whip! Yeah, man. Jesus! So yeah, no, Prince no, is on, uh, on tournament game right now. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. But there we go, Fountain of Dreams, second classic uh, counter pick for, uh, for buff. Uh -huh. The thing is, it's still a close stage. You're gonna survive for long, but it's not like... Uh, uh, Sheik is killing Puff by the top anyway. Yeah, exactly. Not in Pal. Yeah, not in Pal. Not in Pal. Oh! Uh, jab F air. Classic Sheik thing to do. Also works amazingly well against floaties. Oh, I love the way uh, there. You wanted to provoke something from Prince, but I was like, oh, okay, okay. You didn't, you didn't bite. I, I, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Oh! Uh, <laughs> oh, there was like, <laughs> <laughs> but nothing happened. Yeah, sometimes Over is such a goofy dude, right? <laughs> yeah. When you look at his facial expressions, I think somebody should make a clip show out of that. Uh, sometimes, yeah, 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 I do agree. Okay, jumping around, nice jab, fair. Oh! <laughs> was that actually a bait or something? Oh, if Prince would have gotten that kill, dude. But you know, Overs, Overs' versatility around the ledge made Prince question if he should stay on the ledge or not. And that's Overs' strength right here, you know? True, that's really true. Again! Again, as you said. Oh, and now this is really scary, actually. Look at the fair of Zelda on buff. Ooh! Uh huh. And that person. By the way, some, some information for you guys. Something I learned today from a Zelda main. Okay. Um, Zelda's back air is actually a lot quicker than the forward air. Ooh. I didn't know. I thought it were the same move, but apparently the back air is a lot quicker. Okay, good to know. Good, good to, to know. know, right? Yeah. Over survives the rest. So um, Prince not being able to close out the stocks. It uh, could have been an even game right there. Yeah. Unfortunately, not. Okay, oh, okay. the dash attack. Oh! Oh! Ooh. Oh my God! Prince got that edge guard. Okay, still managed to close it up then. Okay, it's Oh, game. that could have been a rest. Ooh, that tiny way. Look at that! Above the buff. Like, and the thing I love about Over is like, he's never on the same level of uh, of uh, buff. Yeah. Or he's slightly above or slightly under. Which is really where Puff shines when you're on the same level as her, because you cannot outplay her on the horizontal, horizontal plane, you know? Exactly. So it's really important to come from below or from above her. And uh, dude, oh. Prince took that stock with a solid edge card. Yeah, man. And he's in the lead now. It's looking like it's shaping out to be a game five situation if Over um, doesn't, you know, massively outplay him anymore. Speaking of massively outplaying Prince. Woof. One star oh. keeps, one rest away. Oh. Dude, this is scary. This is so, so scary, scary for Over. And now all the person, and with the wall of pain now. Yeah, he's keeping him out, though. He doesn't have the rest setups anymore now, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and that should be it. Yup, Prince oh. takes it to game five against over Triforce. So what's left? Yoshi's story? Yeah. Pokemon Stadium? Yeah. Potentially? Yeah. And I think Battlefield? Yeah. I think I they're going to Yoshi's. Sh yeah, you show Poke, but I feel Yoshi's too. Yeah. But we'll see. Like, like over Love's final destination, you might bring him to Pokemon Stadium, you know, in a sense. But his story will help him to get those early kills. But the thing is, over is really good at using all the space, you know, to make him make with the buff and then going in, like, yeah. on final destination, for instance. Uh -huh. And uh, I felt like on the Fountain of Dreams, Prince definitely, like, shows he was really ready on the on the close quarter stage. Yeah, I like, think Like, all so. that wall of pain at the end, all that wall of back air, like, oh, I didn't have enough space, just move around and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, maybe uh, Yoshi's story might be a difficult choice then, so uh, yeah, if, if Prince could, you know, 
still continue to wall him out and stay in the middle of the stage. But when, even uh, then, even then, let's go on your story. This is still one of the worst stages of Puff. I mean, he dies so, she dies so early yeah. on that stage. Also, a rest punish uh, with an up smash is really worth something on that stage. Oh, uh, really true. Ooh, Ooh, look at that! Yeah, no DI whatsoever. Prince did not anticipate the forward air. Even with a GI, man. It yeah, true, GI. true. Ooh. Oh <laughs> my god, that was so good. That would have been an miss. amazing rest. Yeah, yeah, and that was really close to do. Yeah, I think uh, one thing that uh, Over really did well over the course of the set, and I think he adjusted to that um, after he got rested in the, in the second game. Yeah. He overshoots all of his dash attacks by now. So mm. the overshoot dash attacks uh, make it so that it's impossible for Prince to um, Ooh, crouch to, uh, to rest him out of shield. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh! Clipped him with the, with the fair end. Should be it. Oh, I thought he would go for for uh, forward smash, but again, it, it's over triforce we're talking about. He could always overtake the. Those that is smash. really true. And one thing also, like feel like Prince, not a forward smash uh, kind of uh, buff. Yeah. He does not use that many dash attack. He does not use that many forward smash. I feel like this is one of the weakness of uh, of Prince, to be honest. Yeah. He's good in the air, but he's not. He can be way better on the ground. Way better. I think so as well. Yeah. But he is. He is. Not on the ground as often, you know? The only times he's on the ground, I think he's shielding mostly. Yeah. Just in order to bait something that he could rest his opponent out of. Yeah. So he's not utilizing Puff's uh, strong ground options as, as much. And Puff's F smash is amazing. He's so strong. Even the up smash is really uh, underrated, I feel. It's really yeah. good. Take show me some crazy stuff with that. So yeah, shout out to my boy Frozen Light, who oh. always utilizes the, the F smash and the up smash. Three stock to one. It definitely not like the previous game, man. Yeah, now looking like a blowout right now. Yeah, it seems like you know, over just take a tiniest oh. of. Oh. <laughs> the shy guy messed so much with the with the di of over triforce right there that yeah. he got hit reversed by the back air after getting hit for the uh, for the first back air. It's something you never see with puff. I was like, yeah, like yeah, like oh, uh, over after the. Oh, oh. <laughs> over triforce. My guy! Even more tricky at the edge. Oh, there we have an F smash. No, uh, once again. Again, yep. Yeah, 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 it's so good, man. It's just so good. Make a double wall jump just to get Randall. Like, over. Dude, what the rest world? is off the table for the entirety of this stock and the next one, but... Oh, so speaking sad. Speaking of which, Over Triforce took the fifth game in a commanding fashion over Prince, who really had an amazing showing at this tournament, and even taking Over Triforce to game five, which is something to write home about, I think, especially for somebody who just recovered from a long break of the game last week. True. So, shout-outs and give it up for Prince finishing fifth place